We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Chicago White Sox and the New York Yankees. Major League Baseball on the Show starts now. Number 16, a left-hander from New York State is the starter on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality Yankees. innings in this one. The designated Striding hitter. forward now Mickey. is the DH. Mickey Mantle. Mantle. He's, of course, a long ball threat, currently third in the American see, League right, in that category. Go, yeah, guys, this isn't a shocker right here. He is definitely known as one of the best pure power hitters in baseball these days. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ooh, started him with the change, oh, and it's boy. nothing in one. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been hey, a little a bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three, haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. Minoso, a range to his left as he tracks this. Digging in for his the second at-bat. Mickey Mantle. He flew out hitter. in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went Mantle. deep his last A-B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive One it out of the yard this A-B. Hey, One right and oh, the count. <laughs> Fouled off. Drive that pitch, huh? Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But a foul oh, ball. Right One and two the count now. And now pitch on the way. A swing and a ground ball to third. Come on, come on. Throw under the big He's target if Frank Thomas will take care of him, and that will end the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're down five to one. Digging in, Mickey Mantle. He comes seven. in 0 for two thus Designated far. Designated hitter, Mickey. Mantle. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this is pulled hard but foul. Hope they brought their gloves for that one out there. Bases are empty. One man out. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Round it, round it. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll reach second now with one away. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play, every base hit is welcome, but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game, but it's a good one. Giancarlo Stanton now head to head pass with back. Dallas Keuchel He's four for 11 two of those hits were for home runs Denton. come on big guy get the pitch right here and this misses here for ball four just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work I'm sure the manager is fine with that he tried to entice him with that three two pitch but he didn't take the bait First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Now batting. The shortstop. Digging in once again, Ernie, Ernie Banks. Banks. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Hey, 
Let's go, big fella. Now here's one yeah, hit in the air to the right All side. Right, hold it here, hold it and here. that's going to oh, fall for a base it. hit. Hey, guys, I understand it right there. The third base coach has got to hold them up. They're down by a lot of runs right now. No reason to risk getting a guy thrown out at home in this situation. Settling in now, Jorge Posada looking now to batting. cut into Catcher. that big deficit Jorge. they've got in front of him. Posada. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. 3-2 pitch. Oh, and it nope. misses ball, ball four, and that will force home a run. And this inning is a perfect example of how quickly fortunes can change in this game. He was cruising along, hardly any trouble at all. Now he walks in a run and is still in the middle of a bases loaded mess. Ready for another shot the now. Batter. Mickey Number Mantle. Seven. He hit a two bagger and hitter. later scored in his Mickey. previous plate appearance. Yeah, Mental. give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, on, and get we you a ribbon. Right From the stretch. All one In the count. dirt here. They need you right now. Let's go, kid. The 0 1 on its way. That's a ball. Hey, that's high up there. Oh, baby. Touch up. Drive him in for us. Let's go, baby. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Hey, clutch up for us, kid. Here we go. The one-two is taken for ball two. Two, and two. Down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and hey, two. Your turn. Drive him in. Clutch up for us. Hey, no one better, Has huh? a look, now the pitch. And Three that's ball, low, so strikes. a good eye there as he works the count back full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. It might be. It could be. It's gone. A home run. <laughs> It's a two-run shot to straight away left. 41st home run of the year for him. And they cut the gap here. It's now 6-4. to four. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. They needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four out save, job well done. A six to four finish in tonight's affair. The White Sox led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Dallas Keuchel picks up his team best 14th win in this one. Aaron Bummer gets a four out save, his 21st of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious White Sox, six runs, six hits, no errors, they left three men on base. For the Yankees, four runs on six hits, no errors, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 20 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight.
We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago White Sox and the New York Yankees. Mickey Mantle, one of the league's most prolific power hitters, continues his hunt for a home run crown. Next. Catfish Hunter will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This guy's kind of hard to figure out. You think most pitchers would love pitching in their home ballpark, but he struggled at home so far this season. There hasn't been a lot of home cooking for this guy, and that's something he needs to turn around and turn around in a big way. At the plate, Mickey Mantle, and he's certainly been making a run for that top spot in the home run standings with his performance over the last couple of weeks. And don't think that the guys above him haven't looked in their rear view and seen how hot he's been. He is coming, and I wouldn't be hey, shocked if he catches him here in the kid. next couple weeks. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good. Oh, and this ball is right deep down the line and left, but hey, just right foul. One a one and one count. Here's the pitch. That's ball two. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little Come bit on, off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge, I'm okay with that. Goodrum is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Next for New York, Mickey Mantle. And looking at the, the numbers, bat. he's on a pace the for over 50 hitter. homers this year. Mickey. Yeah, he's had an amazing Mantle. season up until this point. I know we got about five or six weeks left in the regular season, he but he's certainly on pace to have one of those special seasons. 50-plus homers. There's a handful. Swung on and belted. <laughs> It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number 42 on the season. And this is now a 2 to nothing lead for the Yankees. You want to certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. Stepping into the box, Mickey Mantle, a hit in two tries for him so far. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Hit hard on the ground to third. Run it out, run it out, run it out! Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. So striding forward now, Mickey Mantle. The batter, as we mentioned number earlier, seven. he's in the race for the league's top hitter. home run spot. Mickey. And with a four-bagger on this day, he continues to add to his impressive power right totals. And he just looks so confident at the plate. Knocks a donut off the bat every time on the on-deck circle and strides to the plate like he owns it. Wouldn't be shocked if he got into another one. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Our pitcher's duel continues here. 2-1 to one score as we play the eighth. Here we go. And he misses there, one and two. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone, 0-2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one, hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. A 
A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. They still lead it two to one. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. New York took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Catfish Hunter hangs win number 11 on his line. Carlos Radon pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Mariano Rivera closes the door for the save, his 26th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, two runs on five hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the White Sox, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 37 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Chicago White Sox and the New York Yankees. Frank Thomas, one of the league's most prolific power hitters, continues his hunt for a home run crown. Next. Garrett Cole will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Matt, I'm a big fan of Garrett Cole. Big, strong guy. Former first-round draft pick out of UCLA. 96 to 98 miles an hour with sink. Hard slider. His changeup has gotten better the longer he's pitched. He has a chance to be a no-hit type of pitcher every time he Yankees. takes the mound. The designated hitter, number four. Hey, see it and rip it up there, kids. See it and rip it. Now here's the pitch. Right side hit hard. And that is through into right field for a single. I say big guy. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Digging in now, Don Mattingly. Mattingly. He'll get to take his first, first cuts baseman. here. John. Gehrig on at first, Mattingly. nobody out. Get your pitch, drive it. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Mazzara is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. Batting fifth. The left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Here we go. Ready on one and two. Ground ball right side. He's got it. One there. Onto the pitcher covering it first, and it's your textbook 3-6-1 double play that'll get him out of the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. 
will go now to the top of the third. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Stepping there up to go. the plate, Lou Gehrig, a Four base hit in his first trip. Yeah, that guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Four. Dan, you can certainly hey, attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Uh, chased one. after that one, and it's nothing in one. In his career, Gehrig has an eye-grabbing batting line, one that resides above the 340 plateau. I love everything about this guy's offensive game. The name of the game is to get on base and score runs, and this dig, guy dig, does dig, it as good up. as anyone. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now at the plate, Lou now, Gehrig. And if you didn't Number know, four. he was recently awarded the American League Player yeah, of the Month the Award. Five. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Aye. Uh, got Two runs, six Let's hits, go, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Not Breaking ball, ball that one. time that misses out of the zone. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. Another multi-hit game Wait for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Don Mattingly will bat next. No hits in two trips to the, the plate for him in the ballgame. John Mattingly. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. The Yanks leave one. They're up two to nothing. Standing in, on, Lou Gehrig. Two hits in three at-bats for him in this one. Hey, let her fly, kid. Let her fly. Here comes the first pitch. Nope, that's inside. Hey, you get a good one up there, huh? Here it comes on one and one. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Four runs here in this half inning. Hey, your pitch, get some wood on it. Where Started the chase there. Good They'll eye. appeal it down Good to boy. third, and no swing. It's ball two. All right, come on now. One time, let it fly. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Hey, let it rip here. Hey, need you right here, need you. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees' D.H. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the payoff pitch home. And he fouls this one off. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Coming to the plate now, Don Mattingly. No hits in three baseman. tries so far. He Gone. struck out once. Mattingly. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. There's Come a on, swing and a drive hit well out to right field. It is gone! Holy cow! Oh my goodness! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. 
You want to certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. Yeah, they could only manage two hits against him the entire game. So they were never really in a position to even challenge him. Rock-solid win and a memorable performance. A 9-0 shutout final in this ballgame. The Yankees led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Garrett Cole earns his 12th victory in the ballgame, striking out 12 in the process. Dylan Cease pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, nine runs, 14 hits. No errors. They left 10 men on base. For the White Sox, no runs on only two hits. No errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 21 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.